great Wednesday. Ready to hear some more amazing news? I am. So let's get started. Get ready because the Italy trip is back for spring break of 2022. Have you ever wanted to see Rome, Naples, Sicily, or the Umafi coast, or even Pompeii? Well, contact Mrs. Ringel in room 2200. NHS will be hosting the SAT on Saturday, October 2nd. Seniors, this is a great opportunity for you to have scores and time to submit college applications in addition to scholarship applications. Go to sat.org to register by Friday, September 3rd, the late registration deadline of September 21st. For an initial fee, if you qualify for free or reduced lunches, email Ms. Stoffel for a fee waiver code. The Lions Club of Noblesville is holding a dodgeball and cornhole tournament on Saturday, September 11th. The tournament will be held at Ivy Tech. There is normally a fee to have a team entered in this tournament, but the Lions will have the fee if one or two teams from NHS wants to participate. That's right, enter a team for free to play dodgeball or cornhole. Stop in Mr. Smith's room 1245 for information on how to compete. The NHS Peonies Club will have their first meeting during AL on Monday, September 13th. They are a feminist club whose mission is to join together the student body of an NHS as well as our community under feminism. Equality and understanding, email Junior Elizabeth Payne or stop by Miss Abel's room 2202 for the RSVP form. Do you love helping animals in need? The Linda Paw Club will be meeting this Thursday during AL in the Junior Senior Cafeteria. See Mrs. Huey for a pass. Well, that was interesting. Now let's hear more about my favorite part. Do you mean sports? Yes, I do. Let's go, Millers. Hi, I'm Doc. And I'm Hop. And, and this, this is Wellness Wednesdays. Wednesdays. This week, we get the opportunity to interview Mrs. Steele. Hi, Mrs. Steele, thanks for being here. Hello, thank you for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I am a Noblesville High School graduate, and I attended the University of Dayton, where I actually majored in sport management. And I currently am in my 16th year teaching here Ooh. at Noblesville High School. Great, so what do you teach here at Noblesville High School? And tell us a little bit about your classes. Well, I teach freshman PE, and in addition, I teach two electives. I teach aquatics, which is a pool-based class. We work on uh, swimming, like cardio swims, and playing different water games and being active in the pool. And then I also teach lifesaving, which is the American Red Cross lifeguarding course. I train students to become lifeguards, which is a great summer job for high school kids. And additionally, they have the opportunity to come back and get paid during the school day to lifeguard for our PE classes. Ms. Steele does an excellent job in our PE and wellness, serving as our department chair. Glad to work with you every single day. Great. Thank you. And Thank we, you have a, we have a giveaway from the Truth Initiative. We have a power block for Mrs. Steele for being our first interviewee. Thanks a lot for oh, being thank here. Thank you very much. Woo. Hey, Doc, what's our fun fact for the week? I have two facts for us, Millers. The femur is the longest bone in the body. And also, the smallest bone in the body is located in your inner ear. Out of the 206 bones in the body, those are two fun facts to share with you. Great. Thanks a lot, Doc. Welcome back to my favorite segment. I think it's everyone's favorite segment. Whatever, Blake, it's sports time. The Miller girls golf team finished in third place at Lafayette Jefferson Invitational on Friday. Sophia Stutz recorded a 79, Jordan Adam added an 80, Aaron Burt contributed an 86, and Olivia Anderson had an 88 to complete the Miller's efforts. Come out to support your girls varsity golf tonight at Zionsville at 4.30. The boys varsity soccer team took the W over North Central High School with a score of 7-1. to one. The boys got right to work with a goal in the third minute from Kyle Goad. It was followed with a second Miller goal in the 15th minute from Palmer Alt on an assist from Andy Stansfield and Braden Dahl. Sammy Holland got his first varsity goal for the Millers in the 29th minute off an assist from Goad. Landon Huber, who also scored his first varsity goal for the Millers, scored the fourth goal of the first half. 
Your Noblesville Millers girls cross country team finished third place in the Columbus North Classic on Saturday at Saraland Park in Columbus last Saturday. Brinkley Cooper and Nadia Pires finished in the top 10 of the race. Paige Hazelrig, Ella Winker, and Brooke Lee rounded out the scoring for the Millers. The team travels to Marion Saturday. Great job, girls. On September 4th, the boys cross country finished second at the Columbus North Classic with 81 points. Make sure to come out to their next meet September 11th at the Wildcat Classic. Last Friday, the football team had a tough game against Fishers, losing by just three points in a score of 13 to 16. Come support your Millers this Friday at Westfield High School. Our Miller basketball cheer call-out meeting will be held at the Community Center on Monday, September 13th at 6.30. The clinic day will be held at the Community Center Wednesday 15th at 6.30 through 8 p.m. The tryout day will be held at the Community Center on Thursday, September 16th at 5 p.m. Please enter through gate uh, 4. See you there. Are you interested in swimming at the school? The Noblesville High School swim call-outs are September 16th at the Aqua Mill. Be there or be square. To any students interested in wrestling this upcoming year, there will be a call-out meeting during AL at 3.10 p.m. in the wrestling room at Thursday, September 9th with Coach Weimer, Coach Metzler, and Coach Belvin. If you have any questions, please see Coach Messler in the health room or Coach Belvin in the weight room. Well, that's the end. Oh, I'm so sad. Well, thanks for listening. Bye, NHS.